Hi, everyone. I'm Reverend Nikki Happy, the Director of Marketing and Engagement at One Spirit. And I am so excited to be sitting here today with two lovely people to discuss their upcoming workshop. Simon and Denise, if you could both just briefly introduce yourselves and share a little bit about who you are. Hey, my name is uh, Reverend Simon Ruth DeVoyle, and I'm an inter spiritual min musical minister, and I do congregational ministry creative worship with folks on the internet and I do spiritual direction. I also set prayers into song, so create musical resources about, about the sacred world around us, especially the natural world. Earth cherishing is really important to my faith. I'm scared about this workshop, first of all, because it's with one spirit, which is my mothership. <laughs> And secondly, because I get to collaborate with Denise on this. What makes our connection, Simon and I, for this workshop extra special is Simon is originally from Scotland. I'm originally from the States. I'm living in Scotland now, and Simon's living in the States now. And so together, not only are we weaving the stories and the energies and the beauty of all this, we're weaving the waters you know we're bringing it all back together i may actually be coming live from iona and all going well i'll be there for the workshops i'll be coming live from iona i just wanted to say a little something about the antiquity of the isle of iona it's 2700 million years old and it's said that there has never been found any fossil life on Iona. So that, in other words, predates all life. But to so many, it's a sacred space. It's wild. It's difficult to get there. It's a pilgrimage in itself to get there. It's in the inner Hebrides. It's just a beautiful place. I'm a 2013 graduate of One Spirit. For me, my history is basically my love of nature. Nature has been my spiritual companion since I was a really young child. When I would go and explore the woods with my dad, he was deeply rooted in nature and knew the ways of the woods. And so I learned a lot from him. And that's carried on with me in various forms throughout my time. But in my ministry, it has evolved to companionshipping individuals in their journey, their quest, and their connection to nature, mentoring them along the way, and in group companionship through my workshops. I've long had a fascination with Celtic spirituality, all things Celtic, sacred sites, standing stones. And in fact, it was a circle of standing stones in rural Pennsylvania that led me to embark on my first journey to the Isle of Iona in 2003, where um, I returned many times after that and eventually met my husband in 2013. And now together, him and I lead workshops on Celtic spirituality and annual pilgrimages to Iona. It's like a fairy tale come true because we did meet on a ferry. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> on the way to Iona. <laughs> wow. So if you could both share a little bit about this workshop that's taking place January 30th, which is a Sunday and it's a full day workshop. Can you share the inspiration behind it and what can students look to expect from the workshop? I'm really excited about this workshop because I feel like it was Providence that brought it onto the agenda. I don't know why it happened. Denise and I were just in communications. And I think we both were thinking about, especially Bridget in Scotland, we call Bridget the Mary of the Gales. She is the face of the sacred that is feminine to us. She's a very, very important character. She was a goddess and then became a saint, St. Bridget of Kildare in Ireland. She walks between worlds. It's not just the Druid and the Christian world. She walks, she was born with her mother straddling a threshold 
and it was between day and night. And she's a very, very interesting character that's very, very important to both Denise and I, and we're delighted that this workshop is going to be on the eve of her feast in Imbolc, very, very important time of year when life begins to return after the winter in the Northern Hemisphere. It's at the start of February, end of January. And for me, um, Bridget's been really important in the last few years. I've written a few songs about her. Got a ukulele up here. Let me move up my computer screen. This is the first instrument I built. Her name is Bridget. There's a story in the ukulele that I'll absolutely share in our workshop. Uh, she's a very important aspect of the divine with a lot to teach us. And we just, we have this big passion for sacred connection through the earth and especially through Iona. That's where the inspiration came from. And so we're really excited, both Simon and I. We feel that our class time together will weave this ancient wisdom of the island, the saints, the angels, the fairies, the history, the mystery, both intellectually and experientially, along with sharing our knowledge of the history and of the myths of Iona, both past and present, and our deep connection to nature and the ancient Celts, Simon and I will offer an eclectic mix of both song and ceremony, ritual, guided meditation. I think we'll also have a lot of time for group reflection and sharing so that we can all co-create the sacred space together. One of the key things about it is presence. How do you describe what it feels like to be in a specific holy place or on a specific mountaintop? And I think Bridget will help us with that. I mean, how do you explain a saint that used to be a goddess, <laughs> lived one and a half thousand years ago? You can talk about it. You can pray with it and you can sing song and poetry and weave in art that hopefully will bring some of these ideas alive because it's very soul rich. Yes, it sounds like it. And so after people have taken the workshop, what do you hope that they take away with them? I hope that the folks will take away a sense of honoring of their soul connections, their own relationship with the land that they love, God in the natural world, and connection with that that is invisible but so close to our hearts, whether that's ancestors or saints or nature spirits. I really hope that people who attend the workshop will have a soul nurturing experience. I would also like the participants to walk away with a deeper appreciation and understanding of Celtic spirituality, the many aspects and facets of it that we can squeeze into one day, and also a reconnection to the sacred within and around, and a spark to listen more closely to the call of the heart and to dig deeper into those ancient tales of that sacred remote wild island of Iona. The Celtic way of looking at this holy world, both in terms of the environment and also our consumerism and sense of separation from each other and creation. So this isn't just about history, it's also about the future and us making a good future for all living beings.